another bargain deal has come out in the transfer window. Guys, it's a couple days after the transfer deadline. I do understand that there's so many transfers to go out there. And we're just going to keep bringing them to you. And Javier Pastore was released from AS Roma. And on a mutual contract termination from Roma. And he left the club. And he has signed with Spanish side Elche in La Liga. Guys, this is one of my favorite transfers of the window. We all remember how good Javier Pastore was for the likes of PSG, Palmaro. And also as Roma had some tough times after 2017, but he's still a fantastic baller, guys. He is only 32. He's a massive attacking midfielder that likes a six foot one and a half. He is just a baller. He has always been a baller, and he will never stop being a baller. I understand he's had some rough patches since 2017, and I do understand that. But his contract has been signed on a free transfer until 2022 after he was terminated from AS Roma. But guys, this is an unbelievable signing. I do understand he did have rough patches, but you just got to look at the quality of a team LJ is and bringing in uh, a name of the quality or of the likes of Javier Pastore, who has the experience, the winning ability of Javier Pastore. You just got to think it's a bargain of a signing to bring him in on a free. It's not costing you any transfer fee. It's a brilliant signing from LJ. And what they've done this window has been fantastic. Bringing in a lot of Argentinian talent and bringing in a lot of talent in general. In general. And bring in like Javier Pastore to join all these Argentinian players like Carrillo, Benedetto, Boye, uh, Piatti, uh, also Marcone who came in this year. It's a great bunch of talent. And if you want to look at their best business, look at the midfield right now. Ivan, Marcone, Mascarell, and now you got Javier Pastore. What a midfield three. And you also got Guti who's going to play in there. He's a fantastic young talent. They've just done some tremendous business, Elche. And bringing Javier Pastore cannot be explained enough. Yes, he had some shaky times at AS Roma, but he was aging, he was a tough batch. And I don't think he was up to the quality of AS Roma. You gotta look, he won everything at PSG, obviously. He did play a lot of games, he would score you goals, he will score you goals at LJ, because he is just that kind of a midfielder. But if you want to know how he plays, guys, he is a very, very good midfielder. He he is weak in aerial duels, but he is still six foot one and a half, so he will get up there and win you some duels. But what he's very, very good at is his dribbling ability and his through balls. To, to have the likes of the forwards that LJ do have right now after the tr moves they've made, you have Boyer up top, you have Benedetto who's a top class forward in league. Uh, you have the likes of Carrillo and you have the likes of Lucas Perez. All top quality forwards, all veterans besides uh, Lucas Boyer. And I just think it's fantastic to have a veteran um, leadership, a guy who's been there, who's won it. I always harp on experience and winning mentality at a smaller club like LJ or a team that's not going to be up there like Atletico Madrid and Europa League sides. I think a team like LJ needs that experience. They need a player who knows how to win and has that mentality to go through a tough time and help you pull through. I think this is a beautiful signing from LJ. I just think his through bowling ability and just his ability to dribble with the ball and take it out of pressure and calm the team down. With the midfield they have now, it is fantastic for LJ. Like I said, he's unbelievable through balls, dribbling. He's a great finisher, especially attack midfielder. He will finish you goals and get you goals in LJ. With those forwards, he does have to set up goals for. He's great at taking set pieces and scoring goals from free kicks. He's great at passing the ball, keeping it, and not losing it. But he's also, as an attacking midfielder, he's great from running back and helping out defensively at his contributions. Uh, some other good stuff in his play style. He loves in a counter-attack. So, obviously, LJ aren't going to be a possession-heavy team. So, he will help the team hit on a counter-attack. And I think he's going to be great at doing that. He's great at those nice little 1-2s, those layoffs. And I think he's going to be great at that. He's just a great signing, guys. And I can't um, reiterate it enough. At the age of 32, I know people are going to be saying he's old. He's he's past it. But you got to look. He's an attacking midfielder. He's going to set you up goals. He's going to be on the counter. He's going to be making those great through balls. He's some great attacking players that they have. Guys, it's a free transfer. You can't go wrong. And it's one of the bargains in the summer. And I can't wait to make a cheer list of all the great bargains this summer and to rank how I think all these bargains have gone. But Javier Pastore has joined LJ on a free transfer after contract termination from AS Roma. But guys, let me know what you guys think down below of the transfer. I know this video is a couple days late. There's so many transfers. I'm going to still try to keep pumping it out for you guys. Let me know what you guys want to see some more other transfers from the deadline. I'll keep pumping them out. All the best ones. 
But guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me and means I can keep pumping out all the best content for you guys possible. But guys, hit the like button, comment down below, and I guys, I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.